Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Ben here and this of course I'm back from my third video for today because as you know I'm I'm uh because just as I promised you at the end of the last video which was my VHS and DVD update I'm now going to be doing another review for today. Now this video is going to be a little bit different than my other videos because for this video I'm showing myself on camera for this one because um just be, th there's not going to be that much videos for that, but they, uh, but basically the, um, uh, I'm just, I'm going to give this one a try and just see how this goes. Um, I'm, I'm this, maybe just for this one, I might show myself on camera, but maybe if I do in other videos, I might do it, but, um, but anyways, regardless of that, I'm going to be doing a movie review on this, on here, which I'm now going to be reviewing, uh, um, this movie from 1995, and it, of course it stars Tom Hanks. It's, it's one of two Tom Hanks, big Tom Hanks movies that came out in 1995. The other one is Toy Story, but I'm not going to review that because I, because this movie was one that I, I watched during the week at, at my school, um, in, in my astronomy class lesson, of course, this is a Ron Howard movie, as most of you guys know. And this movie, this this <clears throat> this movie that I'm going to be, be reviewing is this Ron Howard and Tom Hanks collab movie collaboration. This movie is none other than that's right, Apollo 13. And of course, yep, of course, it stars Tom Hanks as well as Kevin Bacon. Well, Tom Hanks, he plays Jim Lovell. Kevin Bacon plays um, Jack Swiger and Bill Paxton, the late great Bill Paxton. He plays Fred Haste. Gary Sinise, he plays Ken Mattingly, and Ed Harris. He plays uh, Gene Franz, who is the mission control man, whatever. Uh, flight director. That's what he's called, flight director. So it's a pretty good cast, and of course it's. Has all the stuff here, so this basic, basically this movie. It's a lot of us know what happened on Apollo thirteen, basically, but this, um, this film, it's it's basically you know it, you know it tells the story of the real Apollo thirteen when Jim Lovell, um, when Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes and Jack Swiger were originally were were going on the Apollo thirteen mission, but then they. While they while they were trying their best to approach the moon, their oxygen tanks ends up exploding, bloating and all this, which so that which it ultimate which ultimately ends up failing their moon landing, and so they end up going on the so they so what they do is that they go back down to they try their best try do what they can to come back down to Earth as they can. So that's basically the plot of this movie and also what really happened on the mission so this movie I thought was pretty good when I saw it for the four days during the week week and it's pretty good in all this this and uh yeah it's it's this uh of course this is the 1995 VHS most of you guys know it's the side the other side the top and of course the back Heck, it's, yep, you can see pictures of, you can see that picture of Tom Hanks right there's Jim Lovell, also for, uh, Hanks, Paxton, and, uh, and Bacon as Lovell, Swagger, and Hayes on the cover, and, and they're in the space shuttle, and also there's Ed Harris as Gene Kranz, and also Kathleen Quinlan as the, uh, wife, Jim Lovell's wife in the film, uh, with his kids. And also, there's Gary Sinise as Ken Manningly. He was the guy who was originally supposed to go on the mission, but because of because of measles contraction, he turned him down. He turned it down. So, was replaced with Jack Swiger. But nonetheless, this is still a great film. Of course, it's it it goes to two hours and twenty minutes. Um. So we watched this for like four days. Wednesday we couldn't watch it because we had a substitute teacher. We had a sub. And this film is rated PG, but to be honest, 
This film was pretty good for the most part, but this movie, I think, should have been rated PG-13 because, because when we were watching the film, it's not a huge deal for a lot of us people my age, teenagers my age. It's not a huge deal when it comes to that, but there's some, there's, from what I've watched it, there, there, this movie has some bits of, of, some snippets of strong profanity in there, like, you, you know, like the S word, word, and also there's mention of BS, you know, bull, S-H-I-T, whatever, and then there's also, you know, several D words, including God, you know, what I mean, and, and stuff like that. So basic that's I mean they they didn't use the f word which is which is which is good but this movie I still should have should have given the PG-13 rating because I think it's a little bit too strong for a PG rated movie. So if you're if you're a kid watching my channel or this review video video if if you're watching this you got to if you're really into like space or astronomy me or me or, or if you're into astronauts, because I lo a lot of us wa grew up watching that kind of stuff. Well, if it's animated, we usually we grew up watching that kind of stuff. But if you ever do want to watch this, make sure that um, ma you can make sh well. It, it, I don't know how to explain it, but it's or if it, or well, maybe if you're not a kid, but if you're like a parent or an adult watching this this review. I'm kind of giving you like a like a disclaimer, like a warning about this film is that if you ever do, if your parents ever, for those of you who do have kids or parents, if you're watching this, you gotta also have to check. If you're watching this, you gotta watch what I, watch what I mean, and then also check the parents guide to see what you know if this if any content in the film, which this case this movie has, and also there's and. And also some emo some intense elements that will that may be not good for children. So just make sure to watch this and also check the parents' guide to check this movie. Check this movie out, and then um, then and then tell your kids this if it's that if that you know it does have the content, then don't let them watch this. Just wait till like maybe they're like eleven or twelve or something. That's my recommendation, but. So I'm just I'm just giving you like a little warning and disclaimer about the con about the inappropriate content in this film. So that's I'm just letting you guys know. But still, regardless of all that, Apollo 13 is still a great movie. Film another one of Tom Hanks' best films, along with Forrest Gump and also Toy Story, Re, uh, Philadelphia, Saving Private Ryan, Castaway, Green Mile. Oh, Road to Perdition, etc., etc., etc. I'm not explaining all of his movies because there's just way too many in the name. Also, The Polar Express as well, but. And. But this is a great VHS tape, and for those who want to see the VHS tape, the actual tape, here's. Here's the actual tape itself, the sticker label, and there's no print date because of it being from MCA Universal or Universal Studios. Um. So yeah, this is good, and so yeah, this Apollo 13 is a great movie. I give this film about eight and a half out of out of ten. Um, like I said, the only thing I don't really like about the film is you know the 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 use of inappropriate language in this movie. That's why I don't really like about the film. So that so that's that's why I explained that parental warning disclaimer that I mentioned earlier. So I'm just letting you guys know about that, but. Regardless of all that, this is a great movie. It's definitely a must own for any movie collector. Um, this movie is also out on DVD and Blu-ray as well, but I got the VHS tape. This was the very last VHS tape we ever bought um, until we started visiting the Salvation Army back in August of 2018. So this is so this is good, and um, so that's so yeah, it's a very good told, well told story about you know what happened on the mission and stuff, but. Great stuff. And that, that basically concludes my review on Apollo 13. And so I will see you again soon. I may not show myself on camera for this next one, but um, but we'll see how it is. So anyways, this has been, and I'll see you again later.